In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a WooCommerce one page checkout in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so we're going to create a similar setup to this one. So here we've got our one page checkout. Here we've got some description about the products and here we've got the products in which we can go ahead and check out. So we can go ahead and add our product to cart just like this. And then we can check out directly underneath. So we can just fill in our information here and go ahead and check out. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com and go ahead and download the WooCommerce product table by WooSuite. And then once you've done so, we'll head back over to our WordPress dashboard. Okay, assuming you've downloaded and installed the WooSuite product table plugin, you'll see this WooSuite menu here. Then you just want to navigate to product table and then you'll see this general settings area here. So with this plugin, we have the option to replace our shop page, category page, tag page, and even create a variation table out of our product table. But for this video, we won't be covering any of those things. You just want to navigate to where it says add new table. I'm going to edit a table which I've created earlier. Okay, so once you've clicked add new table, here where it says title, you just want to give this a name for internal purposes so you know exactly what each product table is doing. I'm going to name mine one page at checkout. Here where it says select page, so you can select a page to automatically insert this product table into. However, I recommend just leaving it blank for now so we can go ahead and have a better control over where we're going to place our product table. Okay, so the next step is to go to form information here and then most likely yours will be blank and then to fill it up all we'll basically do is go ahead and drag and drop the relevant fields onto our product table so for example you can add the product name right you can add the product description short description you can go ahead and add the stock status you can go ahead and add the add to cart button but since i've already added these I'm going to replace the new ones which I've just added and to rename the column you just go ahead and click on the pencil icon and then we can just rename it to for example products and then just update this okay so then we'll scroll down image size you can go ahead and customize your image size so it's width first and then height okay I'm going to leave everything as blank for now so here this is important so where it says product links you want to select none meaning that the user won't be able to click on the product to go to the individual product page so this is very important so select none and here we can add a custom icon for our add to cart button or we can just go ahead and rename our add to cart button so I can go ahead and rename this to just buy okay and then where it says quantities you may or you may not want to enable quantities and then for the add to cart behavior we can go ahead and select ajax if you want okay and then for variation settings it would make sense to display this as a drop down if you've got any variable products okay and then for the form control so this bit's quite important as well so where it says product condition you want to go ahead and select add rule and then you want to specify the particular products in which you want to display on your one page checkout so for example here where it says products you can select the individual products or maybe you can select categories meaning you can choose um, to display products within a particular category you can also list the products based on their attributes custom taxonomy stock status and we'll be adding more as well in the future but for this example i've created a condition to say display all products within our accessories category and so i've used the and condition the stock status is in stock we don't want to be showing users any products which are out of stock so we'll add this additional filter here as well if you wanted, you can enable um, product filtering directly on your um, one page checkout. So this is optional. Currently, I've set mine to disable. You can enable yours based on the columns within a table or you can create a custom filter here. So if you click this link here, you'll see all the list of available options. So I'm going to leave this as disabled for now. And also as well, we can go ahead and hide um, any products without a featured image. So we just toggle this 
to enable this feature where it says page length search box um, product total pagination button as well this will this will vary depending on your situation so if on your one page checkout you're listing a hundred products or you want to list a hundred products then maybe it makes sense to have these options enabled so you might want to add the pagination button the search box and so on but since in my accessories categories I've only got um, I think maybe three products I'm going to set all these to hidden because it's not needed in my scenario okay and then form design so here I've disabled the product table heading and I've also added some custom CSS styling as well so we just go ahead and hit save changes okay and then we'll just click this back button here to go back to our general settings page so if we scroll down, so here you can see this is a product table which I was just editing, our one page checkout. So I'm gonna copy the short code. So then we'll just go ahead and add a new page for our one page checkout. Since I've already created one, I'm just gonna go ahead and edit this page here. Okay, so you wanna name your page, whatever you like, you can add any extra information as well. And then essentially we'll paste the short code of the product table, which we we're just editing. So I just copied this one here and I've just pasted it here as well. And then the last step is to add this short code, this default WooCommerce short code. So it's brackets WooCommerce underscore checkout brackets. That will allow us to display our checkout options once the users added a few products to their basket. So I'm gonna update this page and then we can go ahead and view our page. Okay, so here you can see our one page checkout. So we've got a page name, we've got some additional information that might be of use to our customers. And then here we're displaying our product table with our products in it as well. So as you can see, there's no checkout information here as of yet, but when we go ahead and select a product to buy, and then I've just clicked buy, and then here we can see the checkout information displaying as it should. And then we can just go ahead and check out as normal without leaving this particular page. And that's how you create a WooCommerce one page checkout in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support or we'll get back to you as soon as possible.